Let us also not forget to look at how you can edit your pages so that they look good on the phone. So for that we go to here, we have the mobile thing, we just click on that, and that brings us to this long strip uh, that actually shows us what our page is going to look like on the phone. So uh, I have a menu here which I can't see because it's all black, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of that. So here we go. Now they have put the, this uh, on one line. Uh, you can right click on it to move between the menu box he header and folder it says here. I'm just going to make this narrower and um, I'm just trying to decide whether I want to actually keep this here or here. I think I want to bring it up here and then I think I want to make this menu a bit smaller and then bring it up here and then this header here obviously I'm going to make much narrower just the way that it is on the page and any change that you make here is not going to affect how your page looks here. These things work separately. Now you can't delete anything, however you are going to be able to hide them just the way that we do in the hover boxes. So this container box I'm going to fit. We have a container box here which actually is in that photograph here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the text much smaller and then I'm going to take this container box and bring it in here um, except I'm going to make it narrower and I'm going to make put this text on two lines and then just do this so that we can still see uh, the photograph in fact as a matter of fact maybe it's better no it's better to keep it here on the right so we can do that so we can make the text smaller or bigger by using these buttons here uh, here we have another, uh, let's see, what do we have here? We have, oh, um, this actually is supposed to go um, on here, I think, in the thing. But, um, so we have a container box here. I'm just going to move this out, clean it up. Um, then it says here that I can delete the space, which I'm going to do. And then, let's see, this here is actually supposed to move across like this and like this and I can crop this and make it narrower if I want to which I will do again this is not going to apply what's happening here here things are still exactly where they are so let's just scale this up to fit here. Having a bit of a hard time with it. It's a bit slippery, but we'll get there. Now this here I could actually probably put in here and um, let's see, can I make this white? No. Uh, if I click on the settings, yes I can. So let me make this white. And then this container box, oops, sorry, 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 I made a mistake. I shouldn't delete this, I should just hide it. And now it's hidden. So I'm actually glad I made that mistake so we have it so that you can actually see uh, what happened here. Now this here can come down. Uh, to this here can come down. Hold on, we have a space here so ah, actually this container box needs to get bigger. I'm just going to move it over here and then I'm going to take this text and actually put it inside the container box. Hold on, just make it make it a bit smaller. Bring it in. Now take the container box back. Put this back in here. So now I have a, now I have attached it to the box so I could now make the box as wide as it needs to be. And then uh, the only thing that I can see that would need to get taken care of here is that uh, I seem I don't seem to have container boxes here, and that is the important issue because uh, when you when it comes to editing your content, oh hold on I have the container box right here. The problem is that um, what was <coughs> actually let's see. So I'm just going to move this out and then make it a bit smaller, move it out, 
and then move it back in so that it actually gets attached to the box. So now I think it's attached to the box because that's a really important issue uh, when you are <coughs> preparing things for phone viewing. You need to make sure that you actually have container boxes and not um, or images like I have right here so I can just make this image bigger so that it actually fits across the screen and then delete the space here bring the container box up here uh, so I have another container box here no this is a text box actually so I'm just going to hide that I don't think I need to see that uh, but I have these uh, little gray areas here which are actually a p part of the page so it's telling me to change the page background which if I do that I am not exactly sure whether this will not also affect um, the other side so what I would really need to have here is a big container box to put everything that I have here into there so I'm just going to move all of these things over that is the whole point about the strips and ah see I have a container box here but I need to make that big 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 and then take all of these things and actually attach them inside this box now move the box over then put the images inside the box and this one I think is the one that is all the way on the bottom I realize that it's not very easy to uh, work like this but we don't really have much of a choice it's an awkward hold on so Wix is warning me about me going outside of the box which I know I am but it can't be helped right now so let's see this is the top of the box I'm just going to put everything in here make this bigger make this come here and then make this come here so the design is actually changing uh, which is quite inevitable uh, because obviously uh, things that are fitting on the page will not fit that well uh, on the um, let's see now I think I'm going to actually hide this because, uh, and that is also something that will happen very often on the phone, uh, not everything that you have on the page will actually be visible. Uh, hold on, I'm sure I have a, con yeah, I do have a container box here, which I need to bring over and then move this inside it so that it actually gets attached. Then put this here and let's see just extend this all the way down here and then bring this here and so now and this can probably get a bit wider so now your page looks okay on the phone but uh, one thing that I need to uh, let's see we seem to have another container box here and then one here that is obviously something that we don't need so I, I'm just going to hide that uh, uh, your design will never look as good on the phone as it will uh, on the website. I mean, that's that's a given, and don't even try to do that. Uh, but you can make it look decent, and that's um, the best that we can hope for. So, this is how you do it. Now, th these here are very, very squished, so I think I'm going to actually make these smaller, and this one as well but then I'm going to make the footer just a little bit longer and then give these a little bit more space and that's basically pretty much it the page has been sorted in such a way that it actually looks halfway decent on the phone I'm, I just made this text a little bit <coughs> smaller it was too small I'm still sort of paying attention to alignments and things like that obviously as much as this medium will allow me and that's the end of this little tutorial, and I'll see you later.